did miss it, you can absolutely check that out too. But right now we're talking about fresh paper. This is a biodegradable and compostable infused paper that comes in this particular pack up 24 pieces and it's a produce saver. So it keeps your food fresher longer. And this began in such a great way. So I wanna go ahead and bring in Kavita Shukla um, and just say hello to you, my friend, how are you? Hi, Mary. It's so great to Hi. talk with you. Thank you so much for sharing fresh paper on your show today. Oh my gosh, so excited. First of all, I just have to ask you, have you had your little one? Not yet. Aww. We're just getting ready. We're waiting. I know I'm getting excited and a little bit nervous. Oh, no, you are going to do great. The, usually when I see you, I am social hosting for In the Kitchen with David and I never get the chance to spend a lot of time with you, but we are so excited for your new addition. We can't wait until she comes. I know, I can't wait to share her with all of you. <laughs> Yay. Oh, we're so excited for you. Um, so tell me please, this is the fresh paper. We're getting a 24 piece produce saver sheet. Where did this idea begin? Yeah, you know, well, so I created fresh paper to keep food fresh for longer naturally. Okay. And I was really shocked to find out that the average American family actually throws out more than $1,600 of food every single year. So, and you know, right now we all know how it's so important to reduce food waste and to keep our produce fresh for longer. But Fresh Paper actually started as my middle school science project. It was based on this spicy home remedy that my grandma in India once gave me to drink. And I created Fresh Paper, which are these little sheets that are infused with organic botanicals to keep food fresh for longer naturally without using any harmful chemicals or plastics because I wanted to figure out a way to just make it easy to keep food fresh and to have a way to do that that was not you know, something you'd be nervous about having touching your food. So fresh paper is made only with organic botanicals. Oh. Uh, it's compostable and biodegradable and recyclable. But most importantly, it's really easy to use. You just put the sheets in anywhere where you keep your food and it keeps your food fresh for longer. Now, that's what I like to hear. And now, what the first thing I heard you say that I love, you said a lot of things that I like to hear. Um, but the first thing that you said was that it can touch our food. So we can tuck it right into the containers that we're getting from the store and it will help keep the food fresher longer. But here's some factoids for everybody watching. More than 1 million sheets have sold worldwide. And now these are customizable. So you are getting the 24 pieces for three easy payments of $8.25. But I, we have a renewed focus of supporting small business in the United States, and this is such a beautiful way to be able to do just that. Save money in our own budget as far as shopping for food at home, but then when it comes to preserving what we have longer, can you explain to us when we get this home, what should we do? Can we just tuck it right in the vegetable drawer? Yeah, so you okay, know, you just take the fresh paper sheets and put them anywhere where you store your food in or out of the fridge. So, you know, in the fridge, you can see all the different ways you can use fresh paper. Like you just put one sheet in a crisper drawer, which is why a lot of people call it like a dryer sheet for produce, because it doesn't actually <laughs> have to touch all the food to keep it fresh for longer. But you can also cut and customize the sheets, but it's exactly like you said, Mary, when you come home from the store, and you know, right now it's a lot harder for us to get to the store. And when you yeah. get groceries, you want to try and stock up on all that fresh food. But the challenge is as soon as you get home, it feels like the clock starts ticking. So as soon as you get home, just put the fresh paper sheets in anywhere where you're storing your food. So you could put them right into the containers that you've brought the food home from the store and you could put them right into a crisper drawer. You can cut the sheets down to make tiny sheets for berry containers or herbs. You can put it at the bottom of a fruit bowl. And each sheet actually lasts for a month. So oh. you might remember it has this like delicious maple scent to it. It smells so good. Yeah, and that's how you know it's active. So that maple scent is naturally occurring from the organic botanicals. Mm. And after that scent phase, which is about a month, you can just compost it or recycle it. And because the bags that the sheets come in are resealable, in the bags they last for over two years. So you can really stock up on these 24 pieces, but then you know each sheet actually goes a long way. If you cut it down or if you just leave it in your crisp or your fruit bowl for a month, you're, you're getting a lot of use out of one sheet. So if I were, because I'm getting these three little envelopes up top and there are 24 pieces total, these are always the questions that I get when I'm chatting with everybody when it's being presented on air. So how big of a sheet do I need in a standard size vegetable drawer? 
Yeah, so one sheet is actually perfect for a standard size vegetable drawer okay. or a standard fruit bowl. So, okay. you know, that's, that's a really good it's question right because you don't have to wrap things individually. People call it like a dryer sheet or an insert because one sheet's enough to keep everything in your crisper drawer, everything in a fruit bowl or a large sack of potatoes fresh for longer. And then you can actually leave the sheet in there and swap out the produce. So you could just drop the sheet in. When you come home from the store, put your produce in, and then as you eat through that produce, you can keep adding more produce to keep it fresh for longer. And you can see, you know, airflow is really important. So it's really important to just have the sheets in an environment where there's airflow, yeah. but you can put them in any container where you have your food. Now, asking our crew here in the studio, are we able to shoot the refrigerator in the back? Yay! Um, because I want to take Kavita back there with me um, because we have our chef in the studio. He set us up back here in our refrigerator to showcase what your refrigerator will probably start to look like when you use these at home exactly how Kavita is describing she's the creator she's the inventor of that's so cool that this started as a science fair project and now is a business that the family is taking into the stratosphere because it's always so popular and more than a million sheets have sold worldwide so I mean take a look up top we've got the fruit bowls up top with the one sheet in each bowl but then scroll on down here to the drawer. So we do have a sheet on either side of the drawer, but then even the drawers that are completely enclosed, you can put them in the enclosed drawers too, and they will be as just as effective in there as they are in the open air bowls too. That's right. And you know, right now I know everyone is struggling to stock up on fresh fruit and to be able to keep it fresh for longer. So we've That's actually right. been working around the clock because we are a small business and it's been incredible to hear how Fresh Paper is helping people, especially at this time, keep their food fresh for longer. So you're right, you can just put it anywhere in the fridge, anywhere in the fruit bowl or in any container where you have your food. But I think the really important thing is just as soon as you get home from the store, just drop the sheets in, you know, in your pantry, in your fridge, and it will make it possible for you to actually eat all those fresh groceries that we're <laughs> able to get. They're so precious right now. I know. And you know what? I mean, budgets are tighter than they have ever been. And so now is a great time to help and invest in making that food last as long as possible. They're biodegradable and compostable. How about the um, bag of beans, bag of green beans? You take a few out for dinner and then take one of the fresh paper and then uh, sheets, slide it on the inside of the bag, and then you can use your little clippy or however you want to store that and then either tuck it in the refrigerator the, can I put these in the freezer yeah you can and great. you know again as you're showing it's it's really um great that you can have the sheets touching your food yes. because they're made only with the organic ingredients and so you can put them anywhere you can feel really comfortable having them anywhere where you store your food and having them touch your food but they don't have to touch every piece of fruit or every vegetable to actually keep them fresh for longer. That's the neat thing now, because of that airflow. Kavita, question for you. If I, let's say every day at lunchtime, I have a fresh salad, but I like to take it with me on the go. Can I cut one sheet into maybe four squares and tuck one into my lunch bag too? Absolutely. That's Ooh. a great use. You know, a lot of people use it in coolers, um, if you're on the go for RVs or camping, but Packing your lunch and just flipping the sheets in with any of your fresh salads or fresh ingredients or fruit is a great way to use fresh paper. So cool. Um, Kavita Shukla, thank you for joining us on In the Kitchen with Mary. Um, best of luck to you. I cannot wait to see pictures. Thanks, Mary. <laughs> Take care. <laughs> it was so great to see you. Great to see you too. And you know, or hear you rather. Um, best to you and your whole family. Bye bye now. Oh, Thank you. Take care. Bye. Such a sweetheart. Um, you know what? Continue to place your orders for K49095. Always a pop.